At Checkpoint Church, we are boldly declaring every single time that we stream, podcast, post a video, whatever, that we truly believe that nerds, geeks, and gamers out there need to hear that God loves them, we love them, and they matter. And it's important that you know that we don't just do that as like a church entity speaking into the void. We are a church ourselves. We are a church made up of those very same nerds, geeks, and gamers. But once you're a part of the church, the story doesn't just end there. Our goal isn't just to tell nerds that Jesus loves them. We want to also bring nerds into the fold of world-transforming ministry that is to be done. One of the ways that we do this is through the practice of an act of radical generosity four times a year at a special event that we like to call the Checkathon. During an extended stream of eight hours, we set ridiculous goals for ourselves and make me do some very silly stuff when we reach those goals. At our checkathon in November 2023, we set ourselves towards raising funds for the Humane Society of the United States in honor of the passing of my beloved dog, Ollie, who longtime stream folks will know I loved to hate, which is something only possible when it's that like deep in your heart kind of love. For this special video, we wanted to show you just a taste of what happened that night. If you weren't there, hey, make sure to set aside time when we announce our next one. You certainly do not want to miss this. We're here. We're coming in hot. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. How's everybody doing? We got an exciting, exciting night. We got so much queued up. This is the this is the schedule for the evening. All the exciting things, all the exciting things that we have planned here. Right now, we're starting with a time of greetings here. We got Chance of Sonar at six o'clock. And then we got Terra Nil at nine o'clock. Those are our two games for impact games. We're gonna have our Digimen turn on uh, Chris to play some GeoGuessr with me. At 10 o'clock, we're gonna be doing You Matter campaign stuff. As we reach certain incentives and goals, we will be unlocking certain things. Every hundred dollars, I'll be reading a page from my book. At $250, I will be writing some kind of shout out song thanking all of the people. Um, that have given so far. Okay, so we are raising funds tonight for the Humane Society. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because I don't really wanna get emotional on tonight's stream, but some of you, uh, especially if you're on the Discord, you probably um, remember just a couple weeks ago whenever we had the very unexpected news uh, that my dog Ollie was not gonna make it another day. We had to say goodbye to Ollie even though she was only six years old. And um, it was really hard. If you are a part of stream at any point, you know that I love nothing more than giving this dog a, a hard time. The truth is, is that all of that was, was spoken out of love and it was spoken out of uh, a, a deep connection that we had. But the best kind of thing that you can do for these kind of fundraisers is something that you have a connection to. And so this is something that I have a direct connection to. We wanna support more people that are taking care of these dumb dogs, <laughs> of these absolute doofuses of dogs, these goofy, goofy dogs, these silly little friends that we love so much and cherish so much. It's a lot, it's a lot. My goal, my secret goal of these eight hours is to not cry anytime that I talk about why we're raising funds. So I've got some Jeopardy to get through, so let's start with that. Uh, the way that we play Jeopardy here on, uh, on stream is not at all like normal Jeopardy. You do not have to buzz in. You do not have to answer the formal question. All you have to do is be the first one to type in the chat what you believe to be the corresponding response based off of the answer that I give. First one, category, awards and honors. Awards and honors for 800 points. The answer, the MacArthur Fellows Program gives out what are nicknamed these grants, though IQs are not measured. You guys are gonna be pinching yourself when you get it, I'm just telling you. Absolutely pinching yourself. That's it, it's the Genius Grant. Next up, we have awards and honors continued, this time for the maximum allotted 2,000 points. The answer, Sylvia Plath was awarded one of these scholarships whose name contains a synonym for smart. Think about the fact that it contains a synonym for smart in this one. The Wise Grant, it is not. Good guess though, I like it. It is the Fulbright Scholarship, Fulbright. Unfortunately, we are continuing on with awards and honors <laughs> for 2,000 points. The answer, Columbia University began handing out these awards in 1917. You've heard of this, I promise. I promise you've heard of this. Believe me, you've heard of this. It is not the Pell Grant. That's a great guess, but not, not close. <laughs> it's not close, but it's a good guess. The timer's almost off. What are we gonna do? Timer's almost gone. Oh, there it goes. I believe everyone has heard of a Pulitzer. Have they not? A Pulitzer Prize. Rats. All right, last one. Last Jeopardy prompt before we get some more donos. Category, presidential candidates. The answer, this is the most recent presidential election year when both major presidential candidates were residents of the same state. It is not 2004. It is not 2000. 
It is not 2012. It is not 2008. It is 2016! <laughs> Which I did not know. That's a really fun fact. I will I will remember that one. Hoo-hoo, boy. <laughs> oh, well, this one's fun. All right, so if you've never done Gamba with us before, we bet channel points uh, on a question about, do you know Nate and how well might you know me? So it's typically a yes or no question. You bet yes or no. Make sure that you do bet. Um, so that people can hopefully end up on both sides and then we can win some points. So the answer or the question prompt rather is, can Nerd Pastor Nate name six states that start with the letter M? Uh, we're gonna put one minute on the clock. Don't listen to Chris, I can totally do it. I can totally do it. We're gonna bet five channel points. Hey, that's a great, that's a great bet. I mean, if you win, you'll definitely win big. Can Nerd Pastor Nate name six states that start with M? I'm gonna give myself I don't know. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to try it. So we've got Montana, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Maine, Missouri, Michigan. Was that six? I think it was six. That's a fun start. I am proud of myself that I can name six states that start with M. I'm not completely geographically inept. I'm pretty geographically inept, but I'm not completely. I got to get creative. Let's get creative. So we're gonna play some Chance of Sonar. If you haven't heard about this game, it was on the Games for Impact list this year. I love, ooh, I love Games for Impact more than just about anything. And so I have to play it, of course. Uh, but the thing about this game is uh, it is a Tower of Babel simulator in a sense. You have no perception of the language. So you have to figure out language as you go along. Got a little pep in his step, huh? A little hustle, a little bit like whenever my like leg is asleep from sitting in a chair, chair too long and I gotta like go to the bathroom and I'm like, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go, 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 go. Well, there we go, now we got a little bit more hustle. It was the half hustle that reminded me a little bit of the, of the bathroom dance. I can't not see it. Ooh. Open, open, close, open, close, open. Okay. I, I like it. Open, 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 close, open, close, open. Yeah! The greatest! I cannot get over the bathroom hustle, you guys. I just don't like that running anim animation at all. You gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Ooh. Ooh. Will you tell me something? Will you help me? Ooh. Oh. Oh. This one. Aha. Yeah. My tower beats your peon. So wait. That's for sure then, huh? Easy. Totally got it. You went me. I don't think so. Follow! <gasps> follow? You follow me. I mean, makes a lot of sense. You follow me. The music is so good. I'm worried I didn't read. I'm worried I didn't read. What have I done? Now I've got us in trouble. Whoops. You can't be serious. It's not just one language. I have to learn multiple languages. I am stressed. You go, me tower. Oh no, what are you thinking? We are not about to Legend of Zelda this right now. Unlock the door. Easy, dude. Man, I have games that I really want to win, Games for Impact, but this is really cool. This game is so good. I'm so intrigued. And it also is such good design. Really good storytelling. All right, guys, I think we beat the game. All we wanted to do this whole time was just uh, get in a line and walk around. And we've done it. Success. This is actually a mini game inside of the new Assassin's Creed and I'm just trying to fool you guys. Oh, friendo, what's up? Hello. Okay, blank not blank, me not find blank, blank blank hot. Me not blank 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 hot. Okay. And a good day to you too, sir. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, mm -mm to you too, sir. Mm -mm. <laughs> just for good measure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I like that his was real low. We can't find the preacher. What's happening? Oh, they walk. If I blend in, will he just let me through? <laughs> this really is Assassin's Creed. Oh, I sneak in now. Oh, I sneak in. Don't get spotted. Whoa. Death dead protect. Whoa. Human protect. God protect. Ah. We are in the preacher's sanctum or whatever. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I, now I really am just button pressing. Am I missing something? What am I missing? What are the symbols up at the top? Am I jumping ahead of the story? I wanna see if this side has any more clues for me. Or is it just the exact same thing? It's the exact same thing. We got a sword, we got a key, we got a 
guitar. We got a vase. I don't know what I'm doing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, sir. Do you have a fine guitar for sale? Do you like guitars? Me so. Hello, me sell instrument, instrument. Do you love instruments? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I feel like I don't want the crew. I want the crew to go on. But which side am I supposed to go to? I don't know. I am having to be such a sneaky Steven. I want to explore all these areas. I want to know what's in, what's in all of them. We got this. Easy. 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 I feel like I'm not taking in any of the context clues like last time. What does big and small mean? Who big, who small? Ha! Ah! Who oh, no! No, don't chase me! Leave me alone, please! <laughs> yeah, you look, I don't understand what I do. I felt so good about it, too. Oh, that's wonderful. You know what? I was literally, I was just about to say that's bad game design, and then they proved me wrong with good game design. Good for you guys. I was about to go off, and you proved me wrong. I was about to be sassy. The tram. The tram, the tram. The tram blocks the path so that I can get across. Makes total sense. Total sense. So glad that they made a good call. A logical leap. And I go. Oh, the tram! <laughs> that one's on me. That one's on me. I'll own that one, okay? I'll own it. What do they want? I'm so confused. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Is there a clue somewhere that I'm missing? Because I swear I've not seen a clue. No. I don't know what to do. I don't understand what's happening. What do you want from me? I don't know. If anyone in the chat gets it, please let me know. I don't understand. This game is super cool, except for maybe the slightest bit frustrating every now and again. Man, this game's really good, you guys. Whoa. Many warriors wait for something. Okay. All right, let's see. When did we last save? Holy smokes. What a night it's been already, huh? All right, well, welcome into our Digimen turn, Chris. All right, live challenge, I suppose. Don't know anything about this. I like the sound of a duel. That sounds fun. All right, so am I just trying to find this place first? Do we have the same place? Yeah. Why is the music so dramatic? Okay, I've definitely got farms and stuff. Are you are you on like farmland? Yeah. Oh no, I have I have I'm on a, I'm on a, a time limit now. <laughs> I didn't know that would do. <laughs> the complete other side of the world is me. All right, well, good start. Okay, I had a, I had, a, I had an area ish. Oh my goodness. Ooh, is that rice? No, don't get so quick. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't have time. Ooh, I was close, okay. Yeah, we were actually incredibly close. This music is insane. It's crazy. No clue. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, was I closer? B barely. <laughs> no. no Wait, closer. really? Neither of us were on the right continent. <laughs> no, not even close. I know. Oh no, why would you do this? How do you like the timer? I don't. I'm just guessing there. Oh, I was really no! close. Oh, I was right. Okay. Round six. One and a half damage. I like this game. This is good. The gamification oh, of it is good. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. No, I want to go. That's what I'm going for. Oh! <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. I was, like, I was like, this is giving the hills, so I went with Austria. Right. I began to panic because I was like so confident and then I was like, oh wait, I don't know geography. If anybody in the chat would like to join, let me know. I'm very good at geography, okay? I'm very, very good. Okay, well, I know exactly where we are. <laughs> where is it though? That's what I'm saying. Where is it though? I don't know. We can call it the Grand Canyon. I think everybody knows where it is. Yeah, I yeah. keep like talking around it. I have no clue. I know. I have no clue where the Grand Canyon is. Arizona, okay. Well, yeah. now I know and I'll forget tomorrow. That was really fun. I was yeah. really stressed the whole time, but like in a fun way. GeoGuessr. Oh, my camera's dead. GeoGuessr is just is so good. How can you not love it? I'm from the U.S. Um, I am from North Carolina in the U.S. In case you can't tell by the accent. Sometimes the accent is superfluous. Sometimes the accent comes through. I never know. All right, so we were at 100, and now we are at 225. Okay. Well, let's um let's pause Spoofy. Pause Spoofy, and play some piano, of course. Mm -hmm. This is love. 
Love by Shel Silverstein from the collection where the sidewalk ends, um, as performed by Lonk. Chats in the cloud, please. Thank you, Lonk. Thank you for performing that for us. We appreciate your time and your presence in this space as always. Okay, with that, uh, we've got to do some uh, pages out of the book. If you don't know the story, I wrote a book when I was 10 years old, it's real bad, but we read pages out of it anyway, and you can't make fun of me because uh, you're making fun of a 10 year old if you do. Man, we've read a lot of pages. Three years of doing this. Holy smokes! We're reading the last two pages of the book. We're literally reading the last two pages. All right, this is uh, The Mirror Mural as written by a 10 year old Nathan Webb. Actually, we need the piano back. I'm sorry, I should have left that on. This is pages 190 and 191. The end of the book. I uh, am gonna present this to you without any context because there is really no need for context because if I tried to provide you with context, you would just be more confused. Cassidy, I can't believe you came with them. Brady sighed, his attention losing all to Dan and honing in on his friend from before. You know my name? Cassidy exclaimed. Of course, I found it, Brady replied, shocked. What are you talking about? This was my mother's name, she screeched. But, but Cassidy, don't you remember anything? Brady asked, tearing up. I don't know what you're talking about, Cassidy blushed. Here, let me show you, Brady replied, lifting up her shirt. <laughs> no, his, oh no, it is her shirt. Oh my. Okay, mm. here, let me show you. Brady replied, lifting up her shirt to reveal her stomach. All right, Brady, Rob laughed. What are you doing to me? She shrieked, slapping his hand away from her shirt. Look here, Brady told her, pointing to a scar above her belly button horizontally. She was almost myrtled, Perry. Don't be like Rob, get it together. When that fish sliced you with a knife and the doctor operated on you, Brady screeched, you really don't remember? Not at all, she replied. Her eyes began to tear up in confusion between her reality and non-reality. Suddenly, over top of the group of old friends that had began to gather, I swooped down from nowhere. Come on, guys, and Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> One girl. I interrupted, overhearing the conversation. We have to get to that wall. <laughs> At least I was being inclusive. Oh, man. Mm. I don't know, Cassidy blushed. Listen, Cass, I know how you're feeling, Dan explained. But you said yourself that you would come and help the person you felt obligated to help. Now you're feeling that your feelings have misled you. But I can tell you, your feelings are never wrong. When it comes to the cut action, she does speak in blushes. If she blushes again before the end of the chapter, I'm going to lose it. Mm. You traveled a few hundred miles to help a man you don't know. Give him a chance. Trust me. Don't turn back. If you're about to get hurt, Brady or I will help you, no matter what. I want you to know that there was not a single period in that entire, entire section. It was exclusively semicolons. Every single sentence that ended, I ended with a semicolon. I don't know why. Mm. Oh my goodness, how gallant for a panda, Cassidy cried. It was nothing, Dan scoffed. I practiced in my head, but still. No, really, thank you, she said, as she put her arms around him and hugged him. The last page, are you ready? Let's just go to that wall, I sighed, embarrassed. All right, Davis laughed. Hey, Nathan, who is that with you? Oh, him? I replied, this is Darren, and this is Paul. Oh, okay, hey guys, Davis greeted. His denseness to the awe of them being there astounds me still. Hey, Davis, Paul replied. Sup, Darren asked. Well, now that we've had these unnecessary introductions <laughs> in the last page, can we go to the wall, I asked. Okay, okay, pushy, Davis muttered. I'm just a little excited, all right, I laughed. We get to go on an adventure. Does this feel familiar, Brady whispered to himself. Yeah, it isn't every day you get to go through a wall, Dan laughed. <laughs> Paul laughed quietly. Here I come, father. Here I come. The end of book one. <laughs> Wow! Chats in the cloud for a 10-year-old Nate, ending on a cliffhanger. Who is Paul, really? Who is his father? What does any of it mean? Who are all of these characters? Why does Cassidy speak in blushing? All right, I guess we're getting right on into Terra Nil. This is the other game for Impact nominee that I have not played. 
Both of the games tonight have had beautiful music. Any Wasteland Reclamation project should start with a turbine. Select and place one now. Don't mind if I do. Oh, how nice. Now that you have electricity, you can clean the soil. Okay, 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 we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, easy, easy, easy peasy. Did it put it in the right place for me? Nice. Rotate it, y'all. Wait, where? Oh, this is really nice. Very satisfying, beautiful UI. I kind of want to finish the riverbed. That'll do it. Riverbed is done. I'm kind of just deciding which area do I want to tackle next. I need some more greenery. We're learning. We're learning. We're figuring it out. Oh, I just noticed that little patch. Oopsie dipsy. Now the question is, should I just finish this? Or should I go somewhere else? Why is it telling me to retry? I'm doing fine. Leave me alone. I'm doing great. Did I misunderstand? Rats. At the moment you think you're doing great and the game gives you the option to encourage you to retry. For real though. Why do they do that? <laughs> Why do games have to be that way? Leave me alone. I'm doing great. I'm feeling good. Not close enough. Man, maybe I do need to retry. Is my goal 100%? Will it settle with a solid 90? Oh no, I can't afford anything. Oopsie. Oops, no, no, no. But do I have enough juice? That's the question now. 97, that's cutting it close, dude. hey oh did we do it? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that a win? Is that a W? Your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants. Give me some bees. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I like this one. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Check out the mic while I flow. Ooh, a research center. Let's make some clouds. Let's make it humid. Whoa! It's from the rain! Oh, that's super cool. It's hard to believe I set it ablaze just moments ago. 90% humidity? Watch me. Y'all ain't even seen how humid I can get. It don't get much more river than river. What do you mean? So what am I supposed to do now? Get the silos to the airship? They're absolutely nowhere near one. So the boat has to pick them up. They don't get picked up without a boat. Whoa, why did you show me a bunch of arrows? How am I ever gonna get this guy? Aw, oh, man, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying that if I have airship technology, okay, I feel like I should be able to, you know, figure it out. Am I gonna do it? Just not close enough. <laughs> oh, I feel like I was not responsibly informed of this factor. All for this little doofus. Now to figure out how to get these bad boys. We end at midnight. We end at midnight. It's getting a little silly. All right, are we done? This was great. I like it a lot. Terra Nil, very good. Um, you know what, actually this is the perfect time because we're gonna look at the uh, You Matter stuff. So these are the You Matters that we've had sent in to us so far. So for the guys who do not know, we firmly espouse God loves you, we love you, you matter. And as a part of our challenge this month, uh, I encouraged everyone to try to create some kind of message that says you matter in whatever creative expression you might care to express. I'm going to go through some of these submissions that we've gotten so far. This one is from Perspective, a voxel challenge here with you matter. I think it came out super great. I love the classic TV. This one is from David Hicks. Uh, we might be making a t-shirt with this because I think it is the coolest thing ever. I love the swatch pattern. Really love the repeating echo. This was drawn earlier by Twyla. And uh, it, was, it was a paint in VR, you can see that, and it looks really good. This one is by Leanne, I do believe, one of our, our submissions. It was submitted twice, and this is the second one. Playing around with some of those fun fonts and designs, love this, very trekky. And then this is another of David's who created an animated You Matter here with a couple of different designs flashing back and forth between the two. So those are our You Matter designs that we have achieved so far. Let's see if camera's ready to come back on or not. We are gonna work now for the next half hour at making our own You Matter out of Lego. So there's a couple of options as far as the big message board. I think I wanna make the long one. I tell you, every time I work with Lego, I miss doing Lego. By the way, I don't know if anybody noticed in their um, communion checkboxes, but if you noticed in your checkbox, you got some Lego pieces this time. And that is for a reason, because the more you order, the more um, Lego you will get. So know that uh, I did not send you Lego 
on accident, nor did I send you Lego for no good reason. I sent them as a fun little way of uh, encouraging people to show up even more and be a part of it. Knowing her, I'm gonna say she hasn't because she's kind of uh, maybe slightly neurotic like her dad and her mom. Perfect, exactly enough. She didn't lose a single one. So let's go back to the letters. There's our R. Oh, it actually kind of looks cool with the uh, no background. I don't hate that. The like, the, 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 the negative space. Okay, so the M looks nothing like an M. Everything else is pretty good except for the M that looks nothing like it. Maybe with the U. You matter. We did our best. We did exactly our best and nothing more. But there you go. You matter. All right. We are up to $280 raised for our charity, Humane Society. We still have a little bit of time left before the night is over. You guys did unlock the shout out song. I'm all about starting simple with GPT and then give it more complex prompts after. Ah, that's cool. Mater. Mater, you're my daters. <laughs> Mater, you're my daters. Oh, no. <laughs> Please fix the misspelling. You matter. I can't get over Mater the Medators, dude. Mater the Medators is absolutely going to be in my brain for a while, dude. <laughs> no! Why? It's trying so hard. And I really like the I really like the choices that it's making, except for Mater, dude. Matter has two T's. Hey! Incorrect spelling! Oh, I like it a lot. That's super fun. It's time for our closing song, our song shout out. So everybody that is donated tonight is gonna get their name thrown in this song. Uh, but first we gotta figure out what song we're actually gonna sing. So I think we're gonna RNG it. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and a hundred. Okay, Google, pick another song between one and a hundred. Okay, Google, pick another number between one and a hundred. I don't like that one either. We're gonna find one. It's the same song! No shot. It just picks two different versions of Jason Mraz's I'm Yours. Okay, Google, pick another number between one and a hundred. I don't even know that song. Okay, Google, pick another number between one and a hundred. We're gonna find one. It's gonna happen. I can't play that song. All right, we're gonna go one more. If we can't find it on the next one, we'll do Jason Mraz, but I sure don't want to. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and a hundred. All right, we're doing I'm Yours. I can't find another song, so. Write a parody song of the song I'm Yours. The song will be a thank you song to all of the patrons from our seventh charity fundraiser for the Humane Society. Let's see what it does. She's thinking. <laughs> I did not understand the assignment. It gave me notes, dude. Remember to strum the chords gently and keep the relaxed, cheerful vibe going, just like in the original. Hey, let me handle it, all right? I got this. This will be our grand finale for the night. So again, this will be our grand finale for the night. This is where we will be wrapping it up. Thank you um, for being a part of our seventh uh, fundraiser checkathon charity stream. I hope that you've had fun. I certainly have. And uh, as a means of thanks, we're going to wrap this time up together with a parody song of I'm Yours, maybe? I don't think those are the right chords. Well, Twilight came along, you sure did help it. You gave so generously and our hearts you melted. We saw your kindness crack through every little act. Before the night was done, trombone, you played the bestest with notes to soar like doves in harmony's intervention. I reckon it's your turn to take a bow well earned. And I won't have Zate to say no more, no more. This gratitude can't wait. We're gonna try that again. And we won't hesitate to say no more. This gratitude can't wait. We yours, and then Perry, you did shine with your love so hefty. You tried to list us up, and your spirit so hefty. You filled the room with grace, 
Now we're in a better place. Before our hopes run out, Leanne, you're giving it you need us. Nothing's going to stop this flow, not even the unexpected. I guess we just stopped rhyming to join in a thank you dance. So I won't hesitate to cheer once more. This joy can't wait. We're floored with thanks. We're yours. I think the song just doesn't know how it goes. Mater, you're my data. What a funny phrase we utter. It's quirky and it's catchy and like butter, it does flutter. Through our lips, it slips. <laughs> As we sway our thankful hips, so we won't hesitate to dance some more this party can wait encore I think that I think they don't know how that song goes. There you go, Chats in the Clap for Chat GPT. At least it got Mater Your Medator in there. We got Mater Your Medator. We managed to raise at least two hundred eighty dollars for the Humane Society, supporting and funding and uh, uh, encouraging uh, better animal treatment and better treatment of animals by the people that are um, tasked with taking care of them occupationally, and also on a federal level trying to do all that we can to lobby for the best po possible care for both zoo and domestic animals. So. Folks, thanks so much for watching this weird video. I know this is not what we normally do with our nerdy sermons. It's a little bit different, but I still appreciate you taking time out of your days to watch this recap and share about the exciting event that we put on. If you want more of Checkpoint Church, we're streaming on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We'd love to get to know you over there. And of course, we're active 24-7 on our Discord server, so we'd love to also get to know you in that space. If you watched this far in this one, odds are you liked it, so be sure to click that thumbs up button. Let me know that this is one that you enjoyed. And with that, we're gonna end this with our three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Whether you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate God, hate church. We still believe these three things to be absolutely true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's why we do things like this. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that I see you, bye-bye. See if we can figure out more words now. Warriors closing the door. Easy. Devotee, devotee, God. God saved me. God tower. Me went cross tower. <laughs> no, I don't think me did. Is that a fox? Or a chipmunk? A kitty cat. You can pet that cat! Best game. 10 out of 10 game.